Anything I need to know about Mother? She's in good health, keeps active, lives moderately. Really? Saving up for a rainy day. What the hell's that meant to them, Gordon? Dad didn't exactly leave her in poverty. Didn't he? We're not exactly rolling in it these days, Gordon. Let's try and get this weekend over with, and then we can try and sort things out. Suits me. Mum, you got married in a mini skirt. I did not. Two inches above the knee, Amy, is not a mini skirt. How about this one? Katie Starkers. Well, don't be stupid. <laughs> don't make a big thing of it. I'm not. How about Mum and Dad on their honeymoon? I'm delighted to see you, Gordon. But it would have been nice if you could have dropped me a postcard. And I am on the telephone. Came on the spur of the moment, Mum. Indeed. I've had the telephone for years, waiting. Some kind of explanation why you didn't come back. I just couldn't get back in time for the funeral. Oh, I'm not referring to your father's funeral. Your promises to come back and take over the farm. This is an important weekend for the family. And welcome home. I thought it was a better space. Yes, but this is a no smoking zone. Oh, you'll have to give up one day, Gray. Oh, I'm running late. I'm on my way. What have I missed from the picnic list? You've heard Gordon's here. Yep. Jungle drums have been beating all morning. Well, we were going to put up Uncle Haddon at the farm. But now could Val and Bob have him? Fine with us, isn't it? Terrific. I just terrified you were going to give us Gordon. <laughs> Izzy always had green fingers. Don't we know it. Hi, Ankle. How are you? <laughs> what, what are you dropping in your Oh, nose? quite right, quite right there. Ah! Adam. Ah, you. Ah. Hey, hey, oh, that young man looks familiar. My youngest brother. Good Lord, is it? Oh, I hope. Uh, Ah, uh, people won't be asking me awkward questions all weekend. Why would they do that? Oh, families have secrets. Not the stuffy old one. <laughs> ah, Grant. Glad well, you can make it. Hey, listen, we're going to need about 30 chairs from the storeroom, and uh, make sure they're not broken, eh? What are you doing? Chairs, Grant. OK. Amy, you're taking orders for the family tree. Katie, you're giving out name tags. Tim, keys to the car. Picking up the Harrisons from the train at five. Wendy, where is that girl? Oh, she just popped out to Izzy's. OK, tell her she's on tea. Dan, you're on registration with me. Hopefully nobody will turn up. At least we'll get the deposit back on the hall. I know, Dad. About Mum leaving. I guessed. You think she's serious? Liz! Barney! Second cousins or once removed? Hello. It's Caroline, isn't it? My wife, yes. You couldn't persuade her to come with you? Hates flying. Sophie, you'll miss her. I'd be very grateful, Janine, if you could avoid that subject with my daughter. Hi. Sweetie, could you uh, take that through to the kitchen, please? Yeah. And empty this disgusting thing. You could have talked to me. You could have told me it was falling apart. I didn't know. You didn't know? Your marriage was dying? Call from Uncle Bleeper. Neil! Oh, let me guess. There's another meeting. Mm -hmm. Which means he's going to be away for an hour or so? Which means he'll be away for the rest of the afternoon. Isn't that just too cool, Yeah. Maybe. Hi, Dan. Here you go. Cool. Grant! Yeah. 
Hannah. That's my brother. He's forgotten my name. It's Dan. Is there anything else you guys want to tell me? I'm looking for Monty too, my, but he's not here. Right. Are you related to Monty? Yeah. Yeah, I am. Just remember, Grant, you've got things to do. Monty Tumai is the principal of our school. Yeah, I know. He's my granddad. I've put you in Amy's room in the meantime. She's sharing with Katie. Meantime? Why does everybody assume I'm back for good? Perhaps we thought your conscience had finally caught up with you. We all have consciences. I promised to come home and take over the farm. I'm not denying that, but then I was promised a few other things as well. They didn't work out. We do know about the trust fund, Gordon. Humour me, Janine. Are you talking about some sort of bribe? Whatever you like. I just call $200,000 a hell of a lot of money. So do I. Ah, there's a girl who knows the way to an old man's heart. <laughs> Keep an eye on Uncle Hadley. What am I supposed to do? Water his drink or something. Dad, I'm going home. I'm all sticky. Um, where's yeah. Mark? Oh, she'll be, you know... Telling herself up. Yeah. Um, oh. Jim! Excuse me. Watch it, they're gonna water your booze. Not if I know about it. <laughs> You'll be okay? Yeah. Better than sleeping under a hedge. Okay. See ya. Thanks. We must have a chat, brother. Where are the other brothers? Neil's not here yet. Uh, later, OK, Gordon? <laughs> mm. So the prodigal's returned. Where's his wife? Good question. He always was the best looking. Oh. <laughs> Dad, got a problem. Psst. Come here. What did you do with your friend? You don't tell anyone. Nah. She's in the old stables. That's roughing it. I couldn't think of anywhere else. Go get changed. I want to get my hands on $200,000. Do you know where I can find it? Some other time, I said, Gordon. But maybe after the cricket game. You tomorrow. think I made a great killing out of a secret trust? Or after the barbecue? You don't know who the beneficiary is because that's a secret. Look, we'll discuss But this you make later. this quantum leap in the brain department. Daddy's done it for little Gordon. Well, I wish he had. I thought he was. But he didn't. Not a penny. Pity. I could have done with the money.